And hello, everyone. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die, Season 3, The Perception Playthrough. I'm your host, Good Fox, and um, we're still here. So, we survived the Seven Day Siege for Day 28. Uh, repairs have not yet begun, and um, this is all the loot we obtained. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with a lot of this, but our goal today is treasure hunting. Let me get dressed. Alrighty, so we are ready to go. Now, one of our dear viewers reminded me about these treasure maps, right? And I figured, I don't know, maybe we'll give them a shot. Can I, do I need to activate them? One of the, I found the note, might be our lucky day, I've been bitten by one of the creatures and the fever has taken hold. I don't have long, but the least I could do before I turn is help someone. As God would want me to if there's still a gun. I, I leave this map at the... Okay, for the treasure supplies, sure. Okay, um... It must be under quests, or at least I would assume. Ah, so can I just read all of them? Let me try. Okay, Stefan's treasure map. Uh, if you got this note, I'm probably dead or even worse. One of the mo one of the monsters. I leave this map to one of my many stockpiles of buried treasure. If you find it, I promise me you'll make better use. Okay, sure. Okay, um, I guess I can do this. Taylor, if you're reading this, the worst has probably happened. Odds are I'm dead, but rather, but rather than let all my stashes go to waste, I'd like you to have them. Okay. Looks like they are suitably spaced out in a suitably, you know, like, oh man, better go and do the do things way. That's fine with me, I suppose. Now, what am I wearing? Oh, good. I, I even have the lucky goggles on. First thing we're going to do, though, is sell some of this stuff to Hugh while I'm here. Beware the dead. Yeah, thank you for the advice, Hugh. You're, uh, insightful right. as always. Okay, so now, uh, we, we got four objectives. We're gonna dig for treasure. There's also an airdrop. Let me see where the first one is. Um, this way, I guess. Good thing I chose a smaller map. Or at least I think it's a good thing that I chose a smaller map. Because otherwise, we would probably have to drive, hmm, a little bit farther. Anyways, see you when we get there. Okay, so I'm in this really mountainous area, and I am guessing this is the place. Oh my god, why are you literally at the top of a, like this mountainous area? Come on, make it up. Ugh. Get up the hill. Ugh. Oh, god. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, don't don't roll down. Let me refuel. There we go. All right. This is the place. Now, I'm told it's just like all of the other times, right? Right? Okay. Making sure I'm not getting attacked by a bajillion zombies. Okay. Yeah, this is actually gonna... I think this is gonna work. So far, no zombies. And we are shrinking it down very quickly. Oh, this is great. Every two... Oh, we're narrowing it down so quick. This is great. Um, hopefully it's worth it. I mean, I hope I go and I get something good. Who knows? Haha, uh -huh, it must be right here. <laughs> I mean, it's just a guess, but I'm, I'm, I'm imagining it's right here. Aha! Locked, of course. 
Good thing I have my lock picks. Oh, we're supposed to spend our points as well. That's right. And we're maxed out in lock picking. Raw diamond. Wow. Um, I don't know what those are good for, but wow. Ammo, ammo, gunpowder, ammo, robot parts, bullet tips. And no combat? No. Oh, that's a nice change of pace. Let's go ahead and spend some points. Here it is. We've done it. We are now level 10 at long last in that particular skill. Awesome. Okay, now we can max out spears. Oh, this is going to be great. I mean, I think it's going to be great. All right, so what's next on the agenda? We've got another treasure there, another treasure there. All, like, as I said, all of it is just kind of spread out. And there's supposed to be a... There's supposed to be an airdrop somewhere. Eh, whatever. Down we go, and I guess we're going to hit... Who's treasure next? Uh, Taylor. We're going to go for the Taylor treasure map. This is the right way, correct? And I guess I'll see you there. Oh, here we go. This one looks a lot nicer. It's not in the middle of the hills. Okay, let's get started. Now, just because there weren't zombies that one time doesn't mean that there won't be zombies this time. Or at least I don't think. Oh my god, of course, the grass is like eating up hits. Let's see if we can start narrowing this treasure down. Come on, show me where it is. Show me the path to riches. Okay, looks like we're starting to get an idea. Must be right in this area. Huh, it's even kind of at the surface level too. Interesting. Get my stamina back, and we'll keep digging. Really? Like, right here? I mean, if you say so. Oh, yeah. It goes to show you how wide that thing is. Kind of doesn't matter. Like in, at the end of the day, it's just wherever that guy wants to be. Right here. Oh, a little farther. There it is. And they're locked. You know, just to make it a little bit extra special. Fortunately, like I said, we should be at level three in lock picking. Oh. Let me double check here. Yeah, we're level three in lock picking. How dare how dare you? Oh two three four Starting to feel like I don't have max level in lock picking. Hmm, diamonds. I'm seeing a pattern here. Lots of ammo here. A good solid chunk of ammo actually. Pretty nice. I'll take it. Okay, so now we've got that guy's treasure. The next one... Oh, there's the... Oh, we, we missed the airdrop. Okay, we're going to go over here. The airdrop was is right in that direction. Okay, let's go grab the airdrop. Then we'll hit the other treasure chest. Man, you know what's really, really working out is this very awesome motorcycle that goes super, super quick and allows us to, like, get the work done in a timely manner. Get what? Get what? 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 Okay, I was about to say. 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 And there's the signal flare. Or the signal smoke. Let's see what we got. Um, looks like we got um, a cottonseed recipe. That doesn't sound too useful. Farm bundle. Okay. Let's just go ahead and open it up. We get, oh, farm plot blocks, uh, aloe vera, potato, and corn. 
okay, I, I, I mean, I guess, you know, I, I'm like uh, not really blown away, but oh, 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 and here we are. Last one is in this uh, desert area. So let's go ahead and start narrowing this one down, right? That's right, start narrowing. Let me find out, where are you narrowing it to? Now, well, still pretty wide, let's keep going. I'm guessing these are like equivalent to like a maximum difficulty dig. Okay, more in this direction, that's fine. It's no big deal to me. Even a little more in that direction, actually. You start digging in one spot, and it's just kind of like... It's like, I'll show you where the treasure is. I mean, I guess that's the point. I want it to show me where it is, but... God, look at this. I started over there, and now I'm over here. Okay. In we go. Wow. Right in here, I guess. Well, not I guess. I, I know it's right in here. Because of the, where the treasure hunter. Potato. Oh, these are... Oh, I'm in the middle of a farm. Oh, that's good to know. Maybe we could find some seeds. There it is. It feels like once you fail lockpicking the first time, then you start failing it a lot. Oh. Oh, see? Okay. And, oh, so this one didn't have diamonds. I was under the assumption all of them would have diamonds. So we got silver. Wow, look at that. Half stack of bullets. That's a lot of bullets. Actually, if we do that, like, actually, yeah, it is a full stack. I think, yeah, I guess 150 is a full stack of bullets. Jeez. Doesn't play around. Uh, let me go, let me grab some of these potato plants. We don't see the harm in it. Aloe, potato, potato. Some of these are just like little, you know, like ambient weeds. But some of these are actually things that we could use. Now on the Twitch playthrough, I have, I think, maxed out farming. Meaning I probably should be paying a little more attention to farming than I have been. I don't know why I use a knife. I think it's because it's fast. I don't think a knife actually helps you harvest things any better. I just like how fast it is. I want to try this thing out. Hold on a second, zombie. This big old fancy crossbow's got your name on it. Never mind. Forgot that accuracy is not included. Let me try it on this guy. Fancy crossbow. Got your name on it. There we go. I wonder if this is just an easier way to kill these. Oh. Oh, man. Not bad. Pretty accurate. Oh. I forgot all about these. I forgot about my ability to track animals and stuff. Man, you know what? I'm kind of interested in... I'm not going to lie. I'm actually kind of interested in... Um, Agility for the crossbow stuff. Where's the wolf at? Is he just far away? No, he should be like almost right in front of me. Oh, it's a coyote. Never mind. I feel like this reloads a little quicker, too. It seems like a good weapon, though. I mean, I I, I, I like it. I think the uh, the cross this new crossbow seems way more effective. It looks cool too. I like the very like high tech looking, not like one of these like primitive like rinky dinky crossbows. 
Isn't that right, Mr. Zombie? You're impressed too, right? Oh. Probably led my shot a little too much there. That's more like it. What, what hit me? Oh. Cactus. Of course it would be cactus oil shale. Well, that's good news, I guess. I think the last thing we're going to do is locate the trader before we go. I mean, we're already doing a lot of driving. Might as well get some of these kinds of errands done. And we are 500 meters off of town. Looks like this one is also in the snow biome, which is interesting. I figured there would be kind of like one character in each biome, maybe two in the the basic grasslands, which seems to be kind of like the, the, the simple biome. But it looks like, no, we got two in, or maybe it's just totally random. Maybe you could have two in the desert and two in the snow and one in the grasslands, but here we are. Let's see. This should be Bob, because I'm pretty sure that is the last character that we haven't discovered yet. And I already recognize it. Yep, this is Bob's outpost for sure. This guy has to be taught a lesson. Wow. So Bob is the the character we actually have in the the Twitch playthrough. So here I was going Bob. Here is your reward. I owe you one. So that's what Bob is actually supposed to look like. <laughs> that's great to hear. The Dukes have been right. Yeah, 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 whatever you say. Um so yeah, it looks like they are you have to level all of them up. I don't know why his eyes are so bloodshot. Like I have still not got he's a I mean he's a nice, he's friendly, but man, let me tell you. Mmm, something up. How much are diamonds worth? I think I need them for crafting, so I'm not gonna sell any of them. What you got for sale, Bob? Something good, maybe? I mean, I don't have a lot of money. I only got like 200 dukes, but just give me an idea of what you got. A forge? An anvil? Darn, I kinda want that. I think there's, you know, there's not a lot I can sell. Wait, wait, didn't I get, like, nuggets? Yeah, here we go. Silver nuggets. Yeah, there we go. Let me get the anvil. Nice. Generator bank. I need one of those. Um. Darn. There's got to be something I can sell. How much is ammo worth? Eh, it's too, not good enough. Animal fat, not going to cut it. Farm plots, not worth enough. Hmm. Maybe we'll just have to come back. They're gonna restock on day 31, but yeah, I do need a, oh, a hunting rifle. This guy's got some halfway decent stuff. Steak and potato, that actually looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Steak and potato, you mean steak and french fries. Dynamite, an advanced, I think I already got, I think I can make bellows actually. Gyrocopter accessories for forty-two thousand. Jeez. Um. Hmm. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. Oh, it's a bear. Does this go through walls? It does. Okay, we can take the bear out because his head is going to clip through here. And also, like, it, this is it. Like, this this thing is invincible. Like, there's no, he can't break. He can't, like, the, the, the trader's base is basically invincible. So I could just use these cheapo arrows on him. There we go. Very nice. Now you might be thinking, well, can't I, why can't I just stay in here and hold off the horde? Well, the answer is that... When these places close down, um, they really, really close down. They are not going to allow anyone in. Yeah, I feel like these reload faster. So if you think you're going to just hide in here to escape the horde, mm, let me tell you something. They've got other news in store for you. A little bit of meat, though, is going to do me some good. Oh, thought I could just run him over. Oh well. Let's head back to base. Look at this. They beat up my base. 
I mean, honestly, the spikes are still in pretty good shape despite it all. I mean, the biggest expense was building them all to begin with, but... Ah, oh, they destroyed all of my entrances. Maybe I should add some redundant entrances just so that, like, I have more ways in and out. Could be a good idea. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'll just add, like, uh, maybe two more on each side. Maybe there'll be three ramps up on each side. Yeah, maybe at the corners. Could be interesting. Yeah, we gotta clean this up. Well, you know what? Oh, nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna get to work and start fixing up this place, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Yeah, thank you for the tip on, or remi really like uh, reminding me about all those treasure maps. In fact, I, I didn't even know what they did for the most part. Yeah, they basically spawn a special mission where you can dig for stuff. Uh, we're going to be continuing on, though. We are about halfway there to getting yet another point, and one more point will be the Javelin Master. Yeah, that's right. 50% uh, more damage and 50% more range. I'm guessing that's for throwing rather than, like, somehow getting to thrust with greater range. And, like, pretty soon we'll be able to max everything out. Looking forward to it. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like the video feels entertaining. Subscribe for future 7 Days to Die Season 3. The Perception Playthrough content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.